Dear friends, greetings to every one of you in the name of Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So today the Lord is going to speak to every one of you. So we are coming in the end of this year. So how the Lord is going to empower us and strengthen us to pray more remaining days. So how we can, with the great preparation, we can enter into this new year. So such a way God wants to speak to us. Amen. Because every year is given by God as a gift of God. So we have to prepare with a great preparation we have to enter into the new year. Yes. How we can prepare ourselves? So based on the word of God we are going to meditate. So in our uh, home there is a, a special function or any kind of uh, celebration we have to prepare for that. So day and night we have to prepare. We used to give lots of hard work. So after finally the day, the program day, so the people, those who are participated, so they used to appreciate. Oh, you did it nicely. Yeah. You did it nicely. Uh, the food is very tasty. So such a good word by hearing, we will be happy. We will forget all the hard labor we did. So the appreciation word will make us more kind of a comfortable. In the same way, every year is a gift of God. The first day of the every year, we have to prepare ourselves and enter into that new year. The Lord's preparation. So that day, who will appreciate us? Jesus Christ will appreciate us. My son, my daughter, you did well, very nice preparation for the new year. So now this new year, I am going to be with you. No. I am going to help you. No. I will answer all your prayer. No. I will perform the miracles in your life. No. Because he prepared well for the preparation. So that is the word of appreciation of Jesus Christ. So how we have to prepare for the new year? So take your Bible, uh, only the word I give you, please note it, Colossians chapter 4 verse 2. So here, how we have to prepare to enter into the new year. Colossians chapter 4 verse 2. So number 1, so the Bible says, Continue steadfastly in prayer. So to preparation for the new year is continuous prayer. So the remaining days you have to continuously pray, Lord, give me the new year with your blessings, Lord. Okay. So continuous prayer. Okay. Your prayer should never stop. Never give up your prayer life. So your preparation should be a continuous prayer from your heart through the Holy Spirit. You have to pray. Okay. Lord Jesus, thank you for this year. Lord, give me the grace to pray more. Lord, I should not waste my time anywhere. All the time I have to use, use the time given to me by you. Give me the grace to pray continuously. So the continuous, steadfast prayer is very essential. So how we can pray continuously? We have to remember the sacrifice of Jesus Christ all the time. Whenever we are looking upon the cross, on the suffering of Jesus Christ, our mind will be concentrated in prayer. Several times we can't pray continuously. Lots of destruction used to come. Lots of worries used to come. Yeah. We can't pray continuously. Yeah. That time what we have to do? We have to look upon the cross. Yeah. Lord Jesus, on the cross you bleed and died for me. Your entire body full of wounds and full of uh, stripes. Lord, I want to pray continuously. Pratam. Give me the concentration in prayer. Me Focusing oh. the cross will help you to pray continuously. Jab. On the cross, Jesus Christ sacrificed. Yeah. The Old Testament time, Pum. you can note this word, Exodus 29:38. So this uh, word of God says, yeah. every day on the altar of God, Parmeshwar ke sthaan mein, a two one-year-old lamb should be offered as a sacrifice. Every day this offering should be uh, put in the altar. So because this is the Old Testament time, that was the continuous prayer before God through the sacrifice. Every day the two lambs should be offered or as a sacrifice continuously. So that was the prayer during the time of the Old Testament time. In the New Testament, Jesus Christ, he became our only sacrifice. So now there is a no need of any lamb should be offered as a sacrifice. The lamb of God became a sacrifice for us. So now whenever we are remembering the cross, God will give us the grace to pray continuously. The spirit of prayer will become upon you. Through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, we can pray continuously. Yeah. Remembering the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, you can pray continuously. Yeah. All the time, inside our heart, the Holy Spirit, the fire should keep on 
strengthen our spirit uh, to pray through the anointing of the holy spirit the fire anointing we can pray continuously so leviticus chapter 6 9 says in the altar the fire of the fire should all the time kept burning so this is the one kind of the prayer life we can pray continuously with the fire of god so your continuous prayer is the preparation for the new year so you have to pray through the sacrifice you have to pray with the anointing the fire anointing of the holy spirit inside your heart so another word of god i want to give you daniel chapter 6 verse 16 and 20 so here the daniel praying continuously even though he put inside the lions den so that after that also he is praying continuously the king he don't know about the uh, lord jesus christ he is uh, giving the testimony about the daniel so he is asking to daniel daniel the god you prayed continuously able to deliver you he is questioning so you prayed continuously he helped you daniel is uh, answering yes king the same god i prayed continuously he protected me so your continuous prayer will protect you from all the dangers so you have to enter into the new year with a continuous prayer daniel prayed continuously your prayer should be also continuous without any gap you have to pray how the apostles they prayed Acts six four. So here we are reading the word of God like this. Yeah. We apostles, we will spend our time only in prayer and teaching the word. We will all the time spend our time in prayer. So they take a strong decision in the new year. You should take the decision. Uh, I will pray continuously. Uh, I will read the Bible continuously. So such a kind of a decision will give you the grace. to pray continuously apostles took a right decision in a right time we will not waste our time with other matters we will only spend our time in prayer and reading the bible Amen. we will continuously pray and teach the word of god so this is the, the this this was their decision so you have to pray with the decision in the new year you have to pray continuously same time you have to pray with the decision in your life your decision will Uh, very much uh, take you into the high level of the spiritual life daniel chapter 1 8 here daniel and his friend shadrach meshach abednego they take a right decision determination in the right time so they took a decision we will not defile ourselves with the king's meat so the king's table all the type of food will be there so they are very much strict with their decision they never uh, without control they never uh, enjoy everything take a decision new year is a time of decision continuous prayer will help you to take the right decision so what was the spiritual meaning of the decision of daniel and his friends lord we will not defile ourselves with the worldly sin anymore world is compromising world everywhere there is a sin so we will not defile ourselves that should be your decision continuous prayer will lead you into the decision making for god so the apostles they are take the decision we will spend our time only in prayer and teaching the word dear friends our continuous prayer will bring the god's miracle in our life so how apostle paul prayed yeah. acts 20 31 so here apostle paul he is telling yeah. so 3 years i continuously give the teaching of the word of god to you so day and night i spend my time i prayed for you so apostle paul he is praying day and night so he is keep on giving the right teaching of the word of god so in our life also we have to pray for others so if you are praying for others your prayer life will be more powerful you can able to pray continuously so continuous prayer is very essential to enter into the new year with the god's plan yes. so we have to pray continuously that we have to pray non stop we have to pray with the decision all the time our decision should be glorify the name of the lord lord coming new year 
I will spend more time with you, Lord. I will not waste the time with the social media anymore. Actually, useful thing, I will check my important message and emails. Otherwise, I will not waste my time with this uh, social media. Man. Such a way, you can take many decisions how the Lord is speaking to you. As Lord, I will read the Bible more. But Lord, I will spend more time by meditating the word of God. But Lord, the, give me the grace. I would like to receive the revelation from the word of God. So such a way we have to all the time continue in prayer. So all the time remember the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. In, the, in our heart the fire anointing should all the time burn. The fire should not be, a, it should kept burning in the altar. So the new year you have to prepare with a continuous prayer. So Colossians 4.2 I already gave this word. So now the next word says being watchful, being watchful, we should be all the time watchful. So if the thief is, if one of the thief is coming to your home, sending a message to you, tomorrow I am going to come and steal in your home at 10 o'clock in the night. What you will do? You will put off the light and you will snoring with sleeping. What you will do? You will be watchful. You will be order the special light. You will order the CCTV camera. Okay. Wherever you can, you can fix it. You will watch in the TV, the CCTV. Whether he is coming, which direction he is coming, Come. how he is. He is bringing something, the weapon in his hand. Yeah. So also you will call the police. The police will be also ready and alert. Watchful. Why? To protect from the thief. But Jesus Christ said in the Bible, yeah. I am going to come as a thief. I will come immediately. Yeah. How the twinkling of the eyes, within a fraction of a second, I will come back. Be watchful. Be watchful. Yeah. New year, we have to be watchful and pray. That's why Bible says, watch and pray. How we should watch and pray? Okay. We have to pray with the armor of God. Okay. So, Bible says, okay. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 to 17. Here it is written about the armor of God. We have to watch full with the weapon, the heavenly armor. So if you read verse 10 onwards, the okay. Bible says, well, finally, yeah. finally, yeah. dear children of God, be strong, yeah. strong in the Lord yeah. and in the mighty power. Oh, the yeah, Lord's yeah, yeah. love says, oh, yeah. the enemy is targeting us. Yeah. Where there is a gap, where there is a small gap, I can target that place Come. where I can give him, give her some kind of the worldly pleasure by watching something on the mobile. Such a way the devil is targeting us. So we have to watch full. So the armor of God it is written, the continuous word. You have to protect yourself. You have to protect yourself with the armor of God. You should full armor of God. All the time cover yourself with the full armor of God. Be watchful. Jesus is going to come back very soon. Before that we have to watch and pray. So new year preparation, watch and pray. Not only 31st December night, Every day we have to watch and pray. We have to be watchful in prayer. We are called by God as a watchman. We are watchmen for our soul first. We are a watchman for our family. We are watchmen for our own place. Then the Holy Spirit will take you as a testimony for the other places. So be watchful. The very powerful preparation for the new year is watch and pray. Every day and night watch and pray. Then the God's plan will be given to you. Finally, the same word says, yeah. Colossians 4.2 says, cool. oh, we have to pray, yeah. we have to pray continuously, we have to pray watchfully and we have to pray with the thanksgiving. Thanksgiving prayer, yeah. it's very important. Oh. So we, we have to pray, We have the preparation for the new year is continuous prayer and uh, watch watchful prayer or thanksgiving prayer then so this prayer will take you into the new year with the great god's plan how we can do the thanksgiving prayer okay. psalm 103 1 and 2 here the bible says yes. bless the lord O my soul bless the lord O my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name bless the lord O my soul and never forget what god has done for you or, this is the thanksgiving prayer yeah, in the life of Jesus Christ, he all the time give thanks unto the Lord. Okay. Whenever he did a miracle, okay. give thanks unto the Lord. Okay. Whenever he started before the miracle, Bible says, thousands of people are sitting before him for food. He is having just two loaves and the five fishes in his hand. 
Bible says, take it in his hand, lift it towards the heaven, and Jesus give thanks unto the Lord. Thanksgiving prayer will solve all your financial problems. So this new year you have to enter without any loan problem. So hereafter you will never borrow. You have to take a decision coming new year onwards, I will never borrow any money in bank. I will not take any loan hereafter. Whatever the God's blessing given to me, I will live with that. With the thanksgiving prayer, it will remove all your financial problem i will say you you come you take all the matters in prayer with thanksgiving do not worry for anything you take all the matters in prayer with thanksgiving all the time give thanks unto the lord jesus christ raised lazarus from the dead how was the prayer of jesus lord i thank you you are hearing my prayer in the midst of the problematic situation you should give thanks unto the lord but that is the god's plan so all the time you should be thankful first thessalonians chapter 2 13 says never stop thanking god first thessalonians 2 13 it clearly says never stop thanking god we have to continuously prayer we have to do continuous thanksgiving so from the genesis to revelation all the mighty things god did we have to count everything and give thanks so the psalm 136 it's a great psalm of thanksgiving 136 so it fully it says about the thanksgiving prayer so mm. you have to read this psalm in the new year so before entering into the new year you have to pray this thanksgiving psalm remembering all the things god has done in your life you have to count all your blessing you have to name every blessing one by one and give thanks unto the lord okay. psalm 136 says remember your god who protected you and remembered you in your low estate but so his grace endures forever oh, grace endures forever oh, thank the lord how god protected your family Manaki. how he did the miracles in your family by remembering everything and say thanks unto the lord Are... so this is the god's plan to enter into the new year Yehi. so first thessalonian chapter 5 verse 17 so this word of god says Wah. first thessalonians chapter 5 verse 17 rejoice always oh. pray without ceasing oh. give thanks in all circumstances Har- for this is the will of god in christ jesus about you you see the two verses are the same the colossians 4 2 says okay. continue steadfastly in prayer okay, be watchful in with thanksgiving oh. first thessalonian 5:17 says okay. rejoice always okay. pray without ceasing okay. give thanks in all circumstances okay. for this is the will of god in christ jesus for you okay. how much you are rejoicing okay. so bible says enter in his uh, presence with the uh, thanksgiving of your heart rejoice all the time enter the new year with a great rejoice so the preparation for the new year is you have to rejoice in the lord all the time rejoice in all circumstances in all circumstances rejoice in the lord that is your strength so now the holy spirit is going to prepare you for this new year how many of you are ready to enter this new year with a great god's plan grace your prayer time Occupy. all the time watchful and pray Amen. all the time give thanksgiving to the lord Amen. simple thing if you do th- do such a things Amen. jesus will bless you more you will never you. lack anything Amen. lord will be your provider Amen. according to philippians 4:19 lord will provide all your need Amen. and his riches in glory by christ jesus will be revealed to you Amen. you will never lack anything that if what ten says those who seek the lord shall never lack anything those who seek the lord shall never lack anything matthew 6:33 says seek god's kingdom and his righteousness seek all the time the god's kingdom whatever you want it will automatically come to you whatever you want it shall be given unto you enter this new year with a great dedication do not lean on your own understanding anymore commit everything into the god's plan commit your ways in the god's plan 
rejoice always Amen. pray without ceasing Amen. give thanks in all circumstances Amen. enter the new year with the god's plan Amen. today the lord want to prepare every one of you how many of you want to pray for the preparation for the new year Amen. you close your eyes right now Amen. now the holy spirit is coming upon you Amen. all of you are not able to pray aap kafi log hain jo prarthna nahi kar pate hain there is a disturbance in your prayer life aapke prarthna ke jeevan mein bahut sari disturbance hai now the holy spirit is coming upon such a people pratma aap har ek ke upar aa raha hai receive your deliverance aap aaj chutkare ko pa lijiye now the lord is pouring out the spirit of prayer upon you parmeshwar pratna ki aatma ko aapke upar undel rahe hain the spirit of prayer is coming coming upon you pratna ki aatma aap logo ke upar aa rahi hai in the spirit of supplication is coming upon you pratna ka jeevan aapke upar aa raha hai the spirit of interceding is coming upon you pratna ka जीवन आपके ऊपर आ रहा है यू आर गोइंग टू प्रे मो और प्रार्थना करेंगे हो द होली स्पिरिट इज टचिंग सच अ पीपल राइट नाउ आत्मा आपको छू रहा है हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू आर हैविंग द प्रॉब्लम इन रीडिंग द बाइबल कितने ऐसे लोग हैं जिनको वचन पढ़ने में बहुत परेशानी होती है नाउ द होली स्पिरिट इज कमिंग अपॉन सच अ पीपल आत्मा ऐसे लोगों के ऊपर आ रहा है टुडे ऑनवर्ड्स यू विल रीड द बाइबल मो आज के बाद आप ज्यादा से ज्यादा वचन को पढ़ेंगे द वर्ड ऑफ गॉड द बाइबल इज गोइंग टू बी लाइक अ मिल्क एंड हनी फॉर यू वचन आपके लिए दूध और शहद हो जाएगा यू आर गोइंग टू लव टू रीड दर्ड ऑफ गॉड आप आनंद से खुशी के साथ आप वचन को पढ़ेंगे बाइबल रेडिंग कितने ऐसे लोग हैं जब वो वचन पढ़ते हैं उनको नींद आती है दट इज दिल स्पेर वो शैतान की आत्मा है होली स्पिरिट इज कमिंग अपॉन सच ए पीपल लोगों के ऊपर पवित्र आत्मा आ रहा है एवरी स्पिरिट ऑफ स्लीपिंग स्लीपिंग मूड एंड द ड्राउसीनेस before the bible reading it should be get out and go away in jesus name aise jo sone ki aatma leke aane wale shaitan ko yeshu masi ke naam se hum dur karte hain receive your deliverance now abhi ke abhi apne chutkare ko aap le lijiye now the holy spirit is preparing every one of you to pray more for the new year patra aatma aap sabko taiyar kar rahi hai ki aap naye saal ke liye prarthna kare every one of you connect with the holy spirit now aap sab patra aatma se jud jaiye the bible says bible aise bata The flesh is weak. जो हमारा शरीर है वो तो निर्बल है द स्पिरिट इज विलिंग पर जो हमारी आत्मा है वो चाहती है द स्पिरिट इज विलिंग आत्मा है वो चाहती है नाउ अलो द होली स्पिरिट इन यूर लाइफ पवित्र आत्मा को अपने जीवन में आप आने दें द होली स्पिरिट इज कमिंग एंड फीलिंग एवरीवन ऑफ यू पवित्र आत्मा आप सबके ऊपर आ रहा है और आपको भर रहा है ऑल द अनवांटेड स्पिरिट ऑफ डिस्ट्रैक्शन डिस्टरबेंस एवरी स्पिरिट ऑफ फियर गेट आउट सारी ऐसी डर लाने वाली आत्माएं और डिस्टरबेंस आत्मा यीशु मसीह के नाम से दूर हो जाएं। लॉर्ड सेट यूर चिल्ड्रन फ्री ना वो अपने लोगों को आप छुटकारा दीजिए बाइबल से बाइबल ऐसे बताती है स्पिरिट ऑफ गॉड देर इज लिबर्टी जहाँ परमेश्वर की आत्मा है वहाँ पे छुटकारा है रिसीव यूर लिबर्टी एंड डिलीवरेंस ना आज आप अपने छुटकारे को ले लीजिए द होली स्पिरिट इज प्रिपेयरिंग यू फॉर द न्यू ईयर आत्मा आपको नए साल के लिए तैयार कर रही है ऑल द टाइम यू विल बी प्रे कंटिन्यूसली हमेशा वो आपके साथ प्रार्थना करेगी लगातार यू विल बी वॉचफुल एंड प्रे आप ध्यान रखेंगे और प्रार्थना करेंगे वॉच एंड प्रे ध्यान रखेंगे प्रार्थना करेंगे यू विल डे सर कमिंग जो दुष्ट दिन आने वाले हैं वेर व्हेन देयर इज अ डे टाइम जब ऐसे दिन का समय होगा व्हेन देयर इज अ फेवरेबल टाइम जब ऐसा समय होगा इंक्रीज योर प्रेयर टाइम अपने प्रार्थना के समय को और बढ़ाएं ऑल द टाइम ग्रो इन द होली स्पिरिट हमेशा आत्म में बढ़ते जाएं थैंक यू लॉर्ड फॉर योर ब्लेसिंग बात परमेश्वर आपके आशीषों के लिए लॉर्ड कंटिन्यूसली प्रिपेयर यूर चिल्ड्रन मोर एंड मोर फॉर द न्यू ईयर प्रभु आपके लोगों को आप तैयार कीजिए नए साल के लिए द कमिंग ईयर इज द न्यू ईयर इज गोइंग टू बी ईयर ऑफ प्रेयर आने वाला साल प्रार्थना का साल हो उनके जीवनों में यू आर गोइंग टू प्रे मो और प्रार्थना करें यू आर गोइंग टू रीड द बाइबल मो आप और वचन को पढ़ेंगे यू आर गोइंग टू ग्रो इन यूर स्पिरिचुअल लाइफ मो आप और आत्मिक रूप से बढ़ेंगे द न्यू ईयर इज गोइंग टू बी ईयर ऑफ रिजॉइसिंग 
नए साल आपके लिए एक आनंद का साल होगा रिजॉइस इन द होली स्पिरिट पवित्र आत्मा के में आनंद का साल होगा ईयर ऑफ थैंक्स थैंक्स गिविंग धन्यवाद देने का साल होगा ईयर ऑफ प्रेसिंग गॉड परमेश्वर की महिमा करने का साल होगा ईयर ऑफ सिंगिंग गॉड परमेश्वर के लिए गाने का साल होगा ईयर ऑफ ग्लोरीफाइंग गॉड परमेश्वर की महिमा करने का साल होगा थैंक यू लॉर्ड फॉर ऑल योर ब्लेसिंग धन्यवाद परमेश्वर आपके सब आशीषों के लिए लॉर्ड लेट योर चिल्ड्रन एंटर इनटू दिस न्यू ईयर विद अ ग्रेट प्रिपरेशन प्रभु आपके लोग नए साल में बहुत ऐसे तैयारी के साथ प्रवेश करें एवरीवन फुल ऑफ प्रेयर लॉर्ड सब लोग प्रार्थना में और बढ़ते जाएं प्रिपेयर एवरी होम हर एक घर को आप तैयारी कीजिए एवरी होम शुड बी ए हाउस ऑफ प्रेयर हर एक घर एक प्रार्थना का घर हो एवरी होम शुड बी फिल्ड विद द होली स्पिरिट हर एक घर पवित्र आत्मा से भरा रहे एवरी मेंबर ऑफ द होम शुड बी लव द लॉर्ड हर एक परिवार का सदस्य परमेश्वर से प्रेम करने वाला हो एवरी वन शुड सर्व द लॉर्ड माई सेल्फ एंड माई हाउस कॉल विल सर्व द लॉर्ड मैं और मेरा घराना परमेश्वर के लिए सेवा करेगा लाइक जॉशुआ एवरी फैमिली शुड बी चेंज इन टू द जॉशुआ फैमिली यहोशु के जैसे हम अपने परिवार हमारा बदलता जाए एवरी फैमिली शुड बी द जॉशुआ जनरेशन हर एक जो परिवार है वो यहोशु के परिवार हो जाए न्यू ईयर इज अ प्रिपरेशन फॉर द जॉशुआ जनरेशन नया साल जो हो वो यहोशु की जनरेशन का जैसा हो जाए पीपल ऑफ गॉड इज गोइंग टू बी रेस ऑफ एंड टू माइटी थिंग आपके लोग खड़े हो और अद्भुत कामों को वो करें लॉर्ड फोर ऑफ टूर स्प्रिट ऑफ प्रेयर अपॉन एवरी होम वो अपनी प्रार्थना की आत्मा हर एक घर पे ऊपर आप डाल दे एवरी होम शुड रिजॉइस इन द लॉर्ड ऑल द टाइम हर एक घर प्रभु की आत्मा से भर जाए एवरी डे देयर शुड बी अ थैंक्स गिविंग प्रेयर इन एवरी होम हर एक घर में धन्यवाद की प्रार्थना हो ऑल द टाइम थैंक्स गिविंग प्रेयर हमेशा धन्यवाद की प्रार्थना हो एवरी होम शुड बी फुल ऑफ द हेवनली फायर हर एक घर स्वर्ग की आग से भर जाए एवरी होम इन द ऑल्टर इन देयर होम ऑल द टाइम द फायर शुड बी कीप बर्निंग हर एक घर में उस वेदी पर वो अग्नि हमेशा जलती रहे लॉर्ड द फायर शुड नॉट कम डाउन प्रभु वो आग बुझने ना पाए एवरी डे द फायर शुड इंक्रीज हर हर दिन वो आग बढ़ती जाए थैंक यू लॉर्ड फॉर योर ग्रेस धन्यवाद परमेश्वर आपके अनुग्रह के लिए इन जीसस नेम वी प्रे यीशु मसीह के नाम से मांगते हैं ए मैन आमीन ए मैन